Perform the indicated operation by hand. Then use a calculator to check your work. So in these three problems, we have a division going on. We've got division written in a couple of different ways. So notice that we've got kind of the old-fashioned division sign going on in the first and the third problem. And then in the second problem, we've got something that looks like a fraction. But that fraction notation can also be used for division. So the second problem, we could also rewrite as negative 36 divided by negative 4. Just like this first problem, we could have rewritten as negative 27 divided by 9. So just different ways of saying the same thing. So as we do these division problems, we'll have to be attentive to the signs. So notice in this first problem, we have a negative divided by a positive number. And so we know that if we have a negative and we divide it by a positive, we're always going to end up with a negative. So let's go ahead and do this problem. Negative divided by a positive, we know is negative. And 27 divided by 9, we know is 3. So our final answer is negative 3. For this next problem, we have negative 36 divided by negative 4. Well, if we have a negative divided by a negative, negative divided by a negative is always going to equal a positive. So we know our answer has to be positive for this next one. So negative divided by a negative is a positive. Because it's positive, we don't have to show the plus sign. But if we want to put it there just to kind of remind ourselves that we've paid attention to the signs, that's not a bad thing to do. 36 divided by 4, then, is just going to give us 9. So we could write the answer that way. But the better way, to really, to write it is with the 9, not to show that extra positive sign. It's good to be mindful of this. But then when you write your final answer, just do it in that, that form without the plus sign. Our last problem, we have a negative 0.06, so negative 6 hundredths, divided by negative 2 tenths, or negative 0.2, which is the same thing as negative 2 tenths. So we're being asked to do these by hand, so we want to be sure that we can, can get this set up. So remember how we set up a division problem like this? We would do 0 0.06, and we're going to divide that by... 0.2, and you might be saying, now wait a minute, what happened to the negative signs? Well, remember, here we have a negative divided by a negative. We said over here that a negative divided by a negative is always positive, so I know that my final answer is going to be a positive. So we've taken care of the sign, now we just need to take care of the division. When we divide longhand, we need to take care of our decimal points, so we're going to move the decimal point in the divisor here in the 0.2, to make it into a whole number 2. I'm going to move the decimal point inside the same number of places, and then I'm going to bring my decimal straight up. And then I start doing my division. 2 doesn't go into these zeros, so I'm going to have 0 0.2 goes into 6 three times, so my final answer is 0 0.3. And remember, we already said that it was going to be positive, so we can write our final answer 0 0.3, but really the better way of doing that of course, is just to write 0 0.3, keeping that 0 out in front to remind us that that decimal point is there, um, just so it doesn't get confused and people think that it's a 3. So let's do our check real quick on our calculator. Let's pull the calculator up here. Let me just move it over. Our first problem was negative 27 divided by 9. Negative 27 divided by, here's our division sign up here, divided by 9 equals negative 3, just like we thought it was. Our next one, negative 6, 36 divided by negative 4, negative 36 divided by negative 4. We think it should be positive 9 when we press enter. Sure enough, positive 9. And then our final one, negative 0 0.06 divided by negative 0 0.2 is going to give us 0.3, just like we calculated by hand.